welcome back to Make It With Mod Podge. I'm Kathy Fillion, and today I'm creating some really cute Halloween pendants. These are some little tiny Halloween collages, and these are awesome to make, to give, or wear, but they're also great if you're wanting to create some stuff to sell at a holiday boutique or perhaps a craft bazaar. Now, I'm using Halloween papers for this idea today, but you could use any kind of papers that you want. The best papers are small prints, that you can cut out and layer up. And you might be wondering what is the base of our pendants today? And I'm using these tile dominoes. This is a game that I picked up at Dollar Tree and we're just using a bale on the back of it. So I'm collaging all onto the top of it. And of course I'm using Mod Podge and I'm using the dishwasher safe formula because I want these to be really durable. I'm adding some gems and all sorts of fun things to them and they're so easy to make and so fun to wear. All right, let's dive right into this project. These domino pieces are the perfect little pendant backings for our collage. Now we're gonna do this on the back side and we're using small print papers and then some of these fun just sort of printed words. The first thing you're gonna do is just trace out the shape of the domino tile onto the back of the piece of paper. You could do this on the front too if you wanted to match a pattern up. Then go ahead and just cut that out. For this project, I'm using Dishwasher Safe Mod Podge because I want this to be very durable. And I'm just gonna be applying that with a paintbrush. I'm adding a small amount of that to the back of my domino tile and then to the back of my paper. Then you'll just place the paper right on top of the domino tile. And I should say that I clean the domino tile first with a little bit of rubbing alcohol. Then just press with your fingers. You can also do this with a miniature collage. So I did a background on the other one and this one I'm just gonna add just three little cutouts and use the black of the domino as the background. So there's really no right or wrong way. You just wanna layer up the different pieces of paper. Now for these stickers, I'm adding these stickers and we are gonna be top coating them with Mod Podge so they stay on. And this is part of a Tim Holtz kit. So you've got all these different fun, small shaped stickers. So I'm just adding those to the design. I love these old sort of like book pages, really fun for collaging. Look how cute these all look. Now I'm going to let them dry for about 20 minutes before top coating. And for the top coating, I'm using that same dishwasher safe Mod Podge and I'm going right over each of the tile tops. And then I'm gonna let that dry for an hour and I'm gonna repeat this process two more times with a dry time of an hour in between. And that will make it super durable. Now we can add some embellishments and I'm just using that same dishwasher safe Mod Podge, tapping it where I wanna add some of those star sprinkles and then you just put them right on down. Look how cute these look. I'm using that same dishwasher safe Mod Podge to glue down these gems. I'm using some little stars on the black cat design and just a little dot here and there of the dishwasher safe Mod Podge and now we're gonna add some gems to these corners. It's really endless. Just look for small embellishments and you can layer these up and glue anything down. Once those are thoroughly dry, you're gonna be ready to add a bale to the back of the domino. And you're just gonna flip those over and we're just going to add some glue to the glue pad on the bale. And you can buy these bales at any craft store or jewelry supply. And then you'll just glue that to the back of the domino. Now I usually let this dry flat for 24 hours before I add a chain. And you can add any kind of chain. Of course, the easiest one is this ball chain. All right, guys, thanks so much for joining me. And next time you're at the dollar store, don't pass up those dominoes because you can create some really fun jewelry. I'll be back here next week with another fun video to share with you. And until then, have a super crafty week.